What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast, what the world is listening to. I'm your host, the hot commodity, Aunt C, and I am joined by my partner in crime. <laughs> uh, we're just laughing because that's just a, a silly name. Christian will be with us next time. It's just a quick episode recap that we're doing. You're going to have to excuse my voice. We saw NXT deadline over the weekend, mm-hmm. and I lost my voice. He lost his voice singing Shawn Michaels' sexy video. <laughs> I went crazy for Shawn Michaels, and I went crazy for CM Punk, and we'll cover all of that when we cover our NXT deadline recap. But we are here to cover WWE Monday Night Raw from December 4th, 2023, in Albany, New York, with a week ago from the time that we are recording this episode. And we start out raw with Drew McIntyre coming out. And Drew talks about wrestlers in WWE. And he says, you can do whatever you want. You can even leave the company and come back like nothing happened. Ooh. And he pretty much says, I could be talking about anybody, but we know he's talking about CM Punk. He says, Jey Uso, your time is coming. And then Sami Zayn comes out. Sammy says, you probably have something to say about me, so why don't you say it to my face? Drew says, you're the one person who deserves to get screwed by the bloodline. You joined them. with You were their lackey, and then you screwed them over. Sammy says, I was wrong. We are not anything alike. I don't point the finger at anyone else for my shortcomings. When I lost in front of my family, I got hungry, and I made a event at WrestleMania. You didn't do that. Are you making your family proud? And Drew says, one of us is not walking out tonight. So, Sammy's coming at Drew for basically saying that he lost in front of his family as well, and he ended up evading WrestleMania, which pisses Drew off. So, the match starts. It was a good match between the two. Um, Sammy hits a blue thunder bomb and gets a two count. Sammy looks to hurt his knee. And then Drew nails a chop block. It's Claymore to get the win over Sammy Zayn here. What did you think of Drew McIntyre beating Sammy Zayn? Obviously, they're going to push him over Sammy, but did you think it was a good match? Yeah, it was on the man. I don't know. I don't know. I Sammy Zayn was going to get his ass kicked, but it made the point, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I think they're eventually he's going to start getting rid of everybody until it's him and Seth Rollins. I feel like that's going to happen. You think they're going to go back to that, though? At the Royal Rumble, at least, I think. Looks like. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was a decent match. I, it was a good match between the two. Pardon the loud beeping noises. This is the Uncensored Pressing Podcast, so you get what you get. Next up, we see Shayna Baszler talking backstage, and she talks about how she broke Nia Jax's arm two years ago, and she will remind her of who she is tonight. We then see Drew McIntyre attacking Sami Zayn backstage, and Drew yells, I'm nothing like you. You brought this on yourself. And Drew then proceeds to stomp on Sami Zayn's leg. Jay Uso then runs a lot of backstage segments here. Jay Uso runs over to Sammy, tells him he'll be okay. He starts looking for Drew. And then Nia Jack confronts Becky Lynch backstage. Becky says, We forgot about you and reminded me that we never fought. Nia says, Once I'm done squashing Shayna, I'm all yours. So now we have Nia Jax versus Shayna. And Shayna did a really good job here. I thought she was going to get the win. She nails a German off the top rope. Akira Fuda clutches a fly, but Nia is able to drop Shayna to the mat and nail the Annihilator. <clears throat> she gets three counts. There's a really funny video going around on TikTok of uh, Nia doing like this lady who looks like Nia Jax with the hair and the, the one piece suit <clears throat> jumping on top of a table and the table collapsed. I feel like we're getting a little closer to the, um, you know, the climax here with her. Like once. She fights Becky. I think the story is going to like start to form. Well, yeah. Speaking of Becky, she comes out and then Nia leaves. So my question for you was going to be, do you think it's going to be Becky Lynch versus Nia Jackson? Who do you think is going to get the better? Um, 
I feel like she's probably going to beat Becky. And then, like I said, they'll start making the story for the for the pay-per-view. Hopefully with Rhea. Who, so, who do you want to see fight Rhea? Nia Jax. At WrestleMania? No, no. Like maybe at the paper. At, oh, at the Royal Rumble. Rumble. Okay. Who do you want to see Rhea fight? Although I don't know because I can't really think of anybody. Like Nia Jax might be for WrestleMania. What if it's Becky versus Rhea at Mania? Or a three way. I would just like to see Becky and Rhea because they've never fought one on one. Yeah. That That's one match that they've never Maybe done. Becky will squash Nia and go on. And. Well, you got to remember, though, you still got a couple months to Mania. So you still have time. Like, Becky doesn't need to win over Nia to fight Rhea at WrestleMania. You know, Becky already has her credentials on her own. Or maybe she'll beat Becky and Rhea. You know, like something will happen with the three of them where the, the stories get entwined. And then it either goes to Rhea and Becky or Rhea and Nia. Yeah, but see, I don't want to see Rhea and Becky touch until WrestleMania if they're going to have to fight. Because I like the idea. Maybe Nia will fight Rhea. At, at the yeah, moment. I think that's going to happen. And then I think that just because whoever wins the Rumble doesn't necessarily mean, like, this is a spoiler, Charlotte won the Rumble and won after the NXT Women's title. Yeah. So, you know, just because you win the Rumble doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to go after you know, Rhea or Io or even Lyra and Valkyrie who's in NXT that won the champion. Yeah. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. But I would like to see uh, Nia Jax and Becky Lynch. A lot of fans don't like Nia, but I don't mind her. She's just sort of like, you know, she doesn't bother me compared to like, like Piper Niven's good too, but Piper's a bit more boring in terms of the heavier girls. Yeah. All right, so we see... She's a little hornier. Like she's just like she tries too hard. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, Chelsea Green's her partner. So it's like, yeah. you gotta kind of try to keep up with that. Um, backstage, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci are talking about their tag match. They mm -hmm. both say it's important and they tell each other not to mess it up. So we have a two out of three falls match next, DIY versus Imperium here. Um, the winner of the first fall is Imperium after Kaiser rolls up Champa with the tights and gets a three count. The winners of the second fall is DIY after Gargano rolls up Vinci and Tommaso Champa holds Kaiser. And the third fall commences, and there's a lot of action here. You got a little whiff tonight. Yeah, I sure do. Uh, Vinci hits a slingshot walking moonsault to, Gio, to Johnny Gargano, which was cool. That was when he walked the ropes and jumped. That was awesome. Um, the end comes after Champa tosses Giovanni Vinci into the steps, and then DIY hit Kaiser with me in the middle, and DIY get the victory over Imperium. Do you think the right team won here? Um, yeah, I mean, I'd like to see more of DIY, and like Imperium's getting kind of boring to be honest so i'm kind of glad that you know they need to step it up a little bit so gunther that to his face i would i would be kind of scared but you're my man so i'm proud to, to go behind you yeah. with that uh so we see our truth I'll bet back. walter where it's at oh i bet you would uh our truth is fixing the judgment days tv set backstage and jd mcdonough tells our truth he's not in the judgment day and to get out of this clubhouse Damien Pre shows up and he says Rhea and Finn are not here tonight, so he's taking charge of things. Oh, let me something is coming with the judgment day yeah. because mommy is not going to be happy at the way he was talking. Mm -hmm. And with deadline that we're going to cover, you know, she's going to the fan. Uh, next up, we see Tegan Knox and Natalia versus Caden Carter and Katana Chance. The women's tag team champion Chelsea Green and Piper Niven on commentary. And with this match, to be honest, I kind of fast forward through it. I wasn't really a big fan of it. However, the end was good. Casey and Kate and Nail a keg stand stomp to Natalia and get a three count. And after Pants kicks Green off the apron. So it looks like Kate and Carter and Katana Chance are going to challenge Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. We then see the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes come out. And Cody says the great Muta created the poison mist. 
I'm not casting blame. I should have paid attention to the clues Shinsuke Nakamura dropped weekly. Nakamura, you have my attention now. He calls Nakamura out to the ring, but then the spotlight shines on Cody Rhodes, and we get Shinsuke Nakamura on the uh, Shinsuke Nakamura promo on the Titan Tron. And he pretty much speaks in Japanese, saying, I will show you what you're not seeing. The path we've taken is the same story. Like you, I climbed the mountain. Like you, I did see the top. Like you, I slipped and tumbled and fell into a bombless pit. We suffered a fall from grace. The devil in your mind whispers, or we'll never make it, and you will never make it back there. I'm here to step into your shoes and take your story. I now want, I now got to finish my story, so I'll finish yours. Cody then says after the promo ends, I appreciate you explaining why you did what you did, but I don't respect you. I don't run from anything. We're the same, then prove it. So Nakamura is just saying that Cody and him were on the same path. They both won the Rumble. They both lost their title match at WrestleMania. And now he basically wants to take Cody's story away from him. Did you like that explanation from Shinsuke Nakamura? Yeah, but it kind of bores me at the same time. It's just like, I don't know. I, I, I think like Shinsuke could be a good heel, but they just kind of like turned him into an asshole one week. You know what I mean? Like there was nothing like everybody loved him. And then all of a sudden just he started being a dick for no reason. Well, I think his story that he lost the match and that pissed them off and he had enough mm -hmm. and but I get what you're saying. I don't understand why he's waited all this time to attack Cody Rhodes. I still, even though he explained it, it's like you would go after him. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I thought it was kind of weak. Yeah. Well, next we have a JD. And they're fighting tonight. On Raw, yeah, they are. JD McDonough and the NXT North American champion Dominic Mysterio are taking on the Creed Brothers with Ivy Nile. And our truth is that commentary for this match. Our truth has been funny this entire time that he's been back since Survivor Series. Um, decent match here. The end comes when Brodus Creed launches Dominic Mysterio, and then Bruce nails a Bruce boy to JD McDonough and gets a three count. The Creed brothers get the win. I like the Creed brothers. I think I they're, think good they're really cool. I like them a lot. I like their finisher, and I would like to see them involved in the title picture. I think they are because they won their more contendership. Next, we have the main event the WWE World Championship, the world champion Seth Rollins versus Jay Uso. And I'm not a big Jay Uso fan. Uh, the end comes after Rollins. Well, Rollins hits a pedigree, gets a two. Uso hits a spear and gets a two. Rollins hits a buckle bomb. Jay nails a spear and hits an Uso splash. That gets a two. Rollins nails a pedigree in mid ear and then a stomp. And Seth Rollins beats Jay Uso. But after the match, Drew McIntyre hits Jay Uso with a claymore on the floor and slams Jay through a table. And then hit Seth Rollins with a belly to belly to end Monday Night Raw. Two questions. First, do you think Jay Uso could be a main eventer? Mm, I don't know. He he does, and I feel like people get behind him, but I feel like he's a little boring because like he's not an Uso, so he's just like kind of in limbo. <laughs> Yeah, his character is boring. I agree with you. I don't care when he like, comes out. How long can he be the guy that's going to make everything like after the bloodline story? Then what? Like, yeah, you know, he has nothing going for him other than that. I agree with you. Um, and then my question for you is we kind of just already said, but do you think I'll, I'll change up the question? Do you like Drew McIntyre? Like, do you like think he's being a bitch or do you really think like what he's saying is sort of true? a little bit of both? He is being kind of a little bitch. And instead of him, like, going out and doing these whiny promos, he needs to, like, fucking go blow Brock Lesnar on people. Well, he, he did that to Jey Uso and Seth Rollins tonight with the with the friggin' putting Jey through a table and then a belly-to-belly -belly on the floor. Yeah. Um. But so then my next question is, do you think it's going to be McIntyre and Rollins at the Royal Rumble? 
Oh no, I'll know better in like a week because we have a long period right now to the next pay per view. Yeah. So I feel like maybe they're gonna like set up a big fight or two on like a Raw or SmackDown the next week, like to kind of you know give us something. And uh, and it but if in two more weeks Drew's still like on this same road, then yeah, I guess they're gonna fight at the Rumble again. Well, boring. Next week on Raw, we have like you mentioned, Cody Rhodes versus Shinsuke Nakamura. CM Punk will be on SmackDown, which will be covering. He makes the decision on Monday. Yep, he makes a decision this week on Raw. So a lot to tune into. Do you have any last words? Mm, no. No. All right. Well, and well, obviously, thank you for joining me, but you're always with me, so I'm, no problem. Thank you for joining the 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 episode today thank you for having me of course and make sure you check us out on youtube search the uncensored press and podcast hit the subscribe button and then also you can hit the notification bell to stay notified when new content is created you can like and leave a comment what did you think of this week do you like this version of drew mcintyre do you agree with him? do you think he's being both a bitch and making sense or are you just team rollins all the way also, you can check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and wherever you get a, your podcast. Give us a five-star rating and let us know what you think as well on Spotify. All right. Stay safe, everybody, and stay uncensored.